सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्तम तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 सो नाउ वी अराइव टू दर्ड टाइप that is sun related nakshatras uttara pauguni was the theoretical example in session third in session 1 now we go for who is the one here uh i could not see because the thing was in front ah next time i will only put those links after <laughs> because for presenting this on zoom is not very um so the person in here is shan connery now i can see because my console was over i'm just going to jump now onwards that why it starts there because i already spoke that two times it's enough and here we are going for shan connery general overview and so we are not going to present this because just reading and we start with bond james bond okay so um rahu mahadasha see that this was uh his third fourth karmic period not third and this is again this can be discussed it went up to 79 but the transition period is going to be actually up to 72 71 73 so he was bond james bond when there was still rahunya energy around after that his interest changed in his fifth karmic period and uh, his success as an actor was not to be expected as the same because who made him bond james bond was rahu and when it started the jupiter period i'm not saying that he was not expect to be a actor anymore but maybe if we discuss this on his karmic transition and the kind of 60 70% of people that come for the ocha session they say i'm lost and i'm i say to them probably you're in a karmic transition from one karmic period to another and knowing that we are in a karmic transition worth billions <laughs> because we don't try to see you know when you're driving the car and you're changing the gear if you just press the accelerator in the same manner as if the engine was fixed or if it was uh, connected 
it's not going to work like that. So karmic transitions is a crucial information that we can take to understand that we should not be uh, putting full power in the accelerator when we are coming to transition. This is going to spoil most of your energy. Karmic transitions is a time to bring energy to settle and to be stable. Okay? So let's move on. Uh, in, the, in the chat, there is. They both have Rahu as their peak periods. Um, Sahar. I think you're saying about um, Sean Connery and also about um, who was the second? Uh, Julia Roberts and Madonna. I thought both had it. No, their... look. By definition, they are going to have different peak because by definition, the first one is going to be Keto. And the peak of Ketu, anyone do, who is born in a Ketu nakshatra related, the peak is going to be Mars for everyone. And then the fifth from Venus is going to be Rahu. The fifth from Sun is going to be Jupiter. The fifth from Moon, that is going to be Leonardo DiCaprio, is going to be Shani, Saturn. That is the one that took him to environmental causes and so. Okay? So... You have here when uh, Connery started his uh, Saturn Mahadasha. And by definition, for those who are born in a sun-related Mahadasha, Saturn is going to be the sixth. It was, in his case, from 85 to um, 2004, OK? And in this period, as you can see in the next slide, was the period where he said, I don't want to be Gandalf. I don't want to earn 30 million. I don't want to be Gandalf and Dumbledore and so on. Okay. Is this bad? Is this good? We can say this in a bold manner, but he was not anymore in the, his fifth karmic period. So it's kind of acceptable not to be looking toward fame anymore in the sixth and mainly in the seventh. But we are going to step into Nelson Mandela and we are going to see that this doesn't work always. And we are going to make an affirmation because Nelson Mandela was president when he was on his, I think, seventh karmic period, we should take out the head for him. Because doing those roles in the seventh karmic period, usually it's very tough because we are not more anymore for that. Now, Miss, uh, Mr. DiCaprio. Um,